This book is called Will I Go to Heaven? And my name is Jeannie St. John Taylor. I wrote and illustrated this book. Illustrated means I drew the pictures. And I did it for my grandchildren and for you, since I want everyone to know how they can be sure they will go to heaven. Ezra pushed against the giant gate made of a single pearl. It would not move. He looked for a handle so he could pull the gate open. He could not find one. He tried rolling the gate. The pearl did not budge. Finally, he stopped and looked up at the gate, his heart fluttering faster than a hummingbird's wings. How would he get into heaven? Hi there. A man stepped from the shadows. I'm St. Peter. Can you let me into heaven? Ezra asked. I don't know, St. Peter sighed. Lots of people get up here thinking I can let them in, but sometimes I can't. St. Peter walked over to an ornate stand and lifted an enormous book onto the flat top. He traced his finger down several pages before stopping to tap a spot. Your name is Ezra Avon Vaughn, right? Ezra nodded. Okay, start telling me why you should get into heaven. You'll need one million points. A million points? Ezra swallowed hard. Well, I protected my sister from a bully. Excellent. St. Peter located a spot near the middle of the page. Got it. Five points for protecting your sister. I visited Grandpa in the hospital. 100 points for going to see him, plus 10 extra because you were afraid of hospitals and visited him anyway. How did you know I was scared of hospitals? St. Peter smiled. God knows your thoughts and records them all right here in his book. When Mommy asked who broke her vase, I admitted I did it. Ah, St. Peter nodded approvingly. You could have blamed it on the dog or your sister, but you chose to tell the truth. He noted this spot in God's book. Truth is so important to God that he commanded us not to lie in the Ten Commandments. Six points. Fear tugged at Ezra's heart. He was not earning enough points. When the neighbor's house caught fire, I warned them and no one got hurt. St. Peter beamed. Because of you, no one died. They would have died? Wow. That's what it says here. Good job. 100 points. Just 100 points? Ezra was not very good at math, but he was smart enough to know he would fall far short of one million points. Please, sir, he said, may I go back to earth and earn more points? St. Peter looked very, very sad. I wish I could give you another chance, but no one gets a do-over. What you do in your life determines whether you will get into heaven or not. Once you are here, it's too late to earn more points. But I did more, Ezra said. I tied my allowance, three points. I picked flowers for mommy, two points. I fed the dog, two points. I memorized scripture, five points. I rescued a cat from the animal shelter, then kept him from eating birds, two points. But that cat really liked birds. St. Peter lifted one eyebrow and tilted his head. Tough job, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, extra point. I put my toys away every night. Two points. I said my prayers every morning. Five points. I said prayers at bedtime and before meals. Ten points total. Ezra was shaking so hard his knees threatened to buckle. How many points do I have now? 
less than 500, St. Peter answered, and I need one million. Fighting panic, Ezra rattled off good works as fast as he could think of them. I sharpened pencils for my teacher. I prayed for all my friends and enemies. I, he talked until his voice was hoarse and he couldn't think of another thing. Ezra knew he didn't have enough points. He knew he shouldn't be allowed into heaven, but he asked anyway, can I get into heaven now, please? St. Peter sadly shook his head. Ezra didn't even try to hold back the tears. If I lived 500 years, I still couldn't earn enough points, could I? Ezra asked. It's impossible for anyone to earn their way into heaven. You are right, St. Peter agreed. No one can earn their way into heaven. Ezra hung his head and turned towards the darkness beyond. Suddenly, the gate opened just a crack. Light so bright and powerful it nearly knocked Ezra off his feet burst through. A familiar voice spoke from the brilliance. Ezra, did you tell St. Peter you know me? Jesus, Ezra whispered, you know Jesus. A happy laugh erupted from St. Peter. Why didn't you say so? There's your million points right there, as a matter of fact. Knowing Jesus is the only way to get a million points. Welcome to heaven. God has made it very easy for us to know how to go to heaven. The ABCs of it are right here. If you haven't already done this, please do what it says so that you'll know you're there. He has done that because he wants us to know that we can go see him someday. And he really looks forward to seeing us. If you want to contact me to ask more questions or to get some handouts that I can send, email me at truenoahfacts at gmail.com. I loved reading with you today. I almost wish the story wasn't finished. I hope you liked it too. If you did, tell other people about this video so that they'll watch it too. And I am looking forward to seeing you in heaven. I love you.